I'd like to call the January 14, 2020, regular city council meeting to order. Clerk, may I have a roll call, please? Mayor Brown? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Krupa? Here. Councilmember Meyer? Here. Councilmember Percival? Here. Councilmember Wright? Here. Thank you. Thank you. We'll start things off with an invocation, and we have Christine Gray with the Interfaith Council who will give us the invocation and followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by our Mayor Pro Tem, Linda Krupa. Please stand. Our uh, Father in Heaven, we're thankful this day for all the many blessings that we have. We're thankful for the opportunity to be here for the Hemet City Council, and we are grateful for the service in which it's given here. We're thankful for the, the first responders and the wonderful community and support that is felt and the beautiful valley that we live in. We ask a blessing to be with us this night as this meeting progresses, that the agenda and everything will be able to be met and that the, the people that are here will be pleased with what has been said and done. We're thankful for the service that each one gives of both volunteering and, and as part of their employment. We, again, are thankful for the many blessings that we have living here in this valley. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please join me as we salute our nation's flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. On to item four, the city attorney uh, will please give us a report on the closed session. Mayor, I'd be happy to do that. There were three items or three categories of items listed on your agenda tonight. The first was item 3A on your 5 o'clock agenda, conference with labor negotiators. Uh, you did hear from your labor negotiator and give direction with regard to the employee organization HMMA and SEIU. You also had a conference with legal counsel with regard to five pending matters of litigation. Those are all referenced in the, uh, in the agenda. If members of the public would like to see those cases, uh, you did uh, give direction to the city attorney on case one and two and three. Uh, cases four and five were just updates. Finally, you did have one item. Uh, an item of anticipated litigation. You had a consultation with the city attorney, gave direction, but there was no other reportable action on that item. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you very much. That brings us to item five, communications from the public. And first I'd like to, anyone that has a cell phone, please mute it or turn it off while you're in the building. So communications from the public, anyone who wishes to speak during public comment on a particular item will be required to fill out a speaker slip. Speaker slips must be turned in to the city clerk, and each request will cover one speaker. Those who wish to speak must submit their own request to be called on by the mayor. There's a three-minute per person time limit for all comments, including public or quasi-judicial hearings. Written comments on any item must also be submitted to the city clerk to be included in the meeting record. However, they will not be read aloud by the city clerk. All who wish to speak, including council members and staff, need to be recognized by the mayor before speaking. Members of the public shall comply with adopted rules of decorum, resolution number 4545. A copy of these rules can be requested through the city clerk's office. So, Mayor, uh, Mayor. Yes. Can I make a motion to change our presentation to item number six before public comment? Sure. Okay. Okay. It's all right. Just remember what I said. <laughs> sure, that makes that makes good sense. And I don't know that we need a formal met, uh, motion, do we? Just take it uh, item six out of order. Okay. That's a good suggestion. We'll take it out, item six, 
6A, Ms. Hemet recognition. So we have Miguel Sarasas will present the Ms. Hemet recognition. Good evening, Council. Uh, my name is Miguel Sarasa. I'm the Executive Director for the Ms. Hemet Ms. Anasano Scholar Program. Um, and this evening, we'd like to recognize and introduce to you uh, your 2020 Ms. Hemet Ms. Teen Hemet title holders who uh, were selected in November. Um, Ms. Hemet Ms. Anasano Scholarship Program is actually a 70-year tradition in our valley. Um, and we're really excited to share with you the young ladies that will be embarking on their year of service and supporting our local nonprofits and our businesses. So at this time, if I could have Unique Pravon and Kiara Rose, um, please join me up here. And I'm going to allow them an opportunity to introduce themselves to you and share uh, their educational aspirations and uh, just let you know what, what they're doing in life. Hi, everyone. My name is Unique Pravon, and I'm your Miss Hemet 2020. Um, I currently attend UCR. I graduated from MSJC in the spring of last year, so I'm a junior at UCR. I am going for my uh, theater degree, my bachelor's in uh, theater arts. I do want to become a teacher for theater and then hopefully get my master's. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Kiara Rose Palma. I am you guys Miss Teen Hemet 2020. I currently go to Hemet High School, and I am a junior. My ambitions for my career choice, I want to go to the Air Force Academy and be a pilot. Well, on behalf of our program, we'd like to thank City Council for all of their support over the last 10 years that I've been the director. Um, and, yeah, I believe you guys have a, a token of appreciation or recognition. Yes, we do. And we'd like uh, you to join us in the presentation. I got mine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, in item 6B, we have the 2019 Hemet Christmas Parade winners, and I'd like to call on Stephanie Borders, our Parade Committee Chairperson.
2019 mayor has come up. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're not finished yet. <laughs> I think there's quite a few people here tonight that might be here because of the parade. We had a wonderful theme this year, and we can tell that it was wonderful because of the participation level of the entry this year. I cannot remember. I've been involved in the parade for 25 years, where we had this many floats that adhered to the theme, or decorated walkers, or whatever. It really warmed all of our hearts, because it's tough to come up with the theme. And to see everybody representing it, we knew that we hit it out of the ballpark with that one. It was really cool. Well, it was. We had our challenges this year. The weather thought that it might throw us a curveball, but um, we stood at the plate and we hit a home run anyway. We had over 100 entries participate with us, over 4,000 people. That's pretty good on a rainy day. There was probably seven to 8,000 people lining the parade route that watched everybody, which really made it important or gratifying for the entrants that spent their time to build their floats and to give up their day to spend the day with it. So we truly are lucky and blessed to have a community that supports all the wonderful things, especially things that support our community and show how great we are, because we really are a great town. We have just a few trophies here this year. Um, it was really tough. <laughs> So we had to expand it a little bit, and I think maybe we'll be expanding it a little more next year. I'm not sure. So the first one I'd like to go with was is for float. And is there somebody here from Hemet Dolphins that can come up to receive this, please? Why
Shearer and Drew come down and play. They had it all made. So even though there was a number of them, we got them all in the picture.
lots of opportunities for our youth. And we get to see that the youth of the Valley really is good, and this gives them a chance to show off. My City Youth Center. Thank <laughs> you. 
adopted a family, and they have been committed, they committed to our victims' families in feeding them on Friday nights and Saturday morning breakfasts. So they've been able to meet several of our fire victims. We thank you for participating. Thank you.
I think we'll take a very quick five-minute recess in case anyone that's in the audience that was here for those special presentations would like to leave. Uh, or you're welcome to stick around and watch the sausage being made. <laughs> so we'll recess for five minutes. <laughs>